Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Back at Pixel Core Studios for another exciting episode of MacBreak Studio. And today I'm in the studio with Mark's... Mark's... Spence, sir. Mark Spencer. Um, as you traffic can see, we're was terrible. traffic. Yeah. Did, would, did Air Force yeah. One keep you your plane from landing? Yeah, yeah, that and, and the squirrels on 101. Yeah. You live in foresty area. And I do. Deers lots and of deer. stuff. Lots That's of deer. Lots of deer. Anyways, you can see we're working on our intro. So, <laughs> Mark is going to show us Act Three of Multicam, and we're going to learn about what, like fixing what went wrong. How to add effects, that sort of thing? Well, we're not going to go quite that deep. There's there's so much you can do with multicam, and this three-part series is really pretty high level, but uh -huh. we did how to create a multicam clip two, two things ago, and the last one, last week, we did um, how to edit it. And now I want to say, well, once you've edited it, it's usually not perfect. So sure. what's it, what are a few things you can do to fix it, and how can you do them fast? Right. And kind of focus on that. So we have here, in Final Cut Pro, our edited multicam clip mm -hmm. in a project, and I can just kind of scrub through it. It's this music video with... Um, four, let's see, five cameras, a visual effects, and an audio track. And we've cut between them, and I, I did a pretty quick and loose and sloppy job. But a couple things that you can do that are, that are so easy. So for example, let's say I go to this shot here, and I've got, you can see, I'm just, I'm skimming right now. I'm sure. not clicking on anything. And I see that shot of the drummer, and it's kind of getting out of focus. Like, you know what? It'd be a lot better now if I were, if I were on a different angle. I don't want to be on this angle. So one option is, with just with the, um, I can click here to move the playhead to this location, and then I can go up to the angle viewer. I don't want to click in the angle viewer because what will it do? It'll make a cut. It'll make a cut and as switch. As indicated by the yeah. razor blade. And if you were watching uh, last week, what could I do to, to do You could that? hold down the option key. If I hold down the option key and then click, and you want to look down below when I do it, option click. That's it called just, giving just, the clip the finger. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it so, goes from a blade so to just, a finger. Yeah, just switch that uh -huh. angle. And uh -huh. that's kind of neat, but you that's great. You can go and do uh -huh. that. The thing is you have to go sort of, oh, I need to place the playhead there, and then I need to go up to the angle I want to go to, uh, and then hold down. It's already on that angle. So let's say I want to go to this angle, option click, and go to that angle, okay? Yeah. That's fine, but there's a much faster way. Once you know your angles, like one, two, three, four, this, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so I've got one, two, three, four, and actually I should organize these in the, in the angle editor to move the drummer above these two, because right. I really want one, two, three, four, or five, or uh, seven, right? Right, but let, let, let's a clarification point. Yes. If you decide to go back and reorganize them in the angle editor, you have to go back to the original clip on the browser, which then wouldn't it wouldn't have any relationship to the multi clip that's in the project. Well, let's go ahead and do it because I want to use keyboard shortcuts to do okay. this, and I want to use one, two, three, four. I'm never going to switch that. I sure. might switch that. So I really want this drummer to be up higher. Right. So I'm going to double click on the multi cam clip in the event browser to open it up in the angle editor. Got it. Then I'm going to take this drummer angle and drag it by this little handle on the right hand side. I'm just going to drag it up two, and then I'll drag the visuals up one. So now I've got the audio at the bottom. Uh -huh. I'll use the back in timeline history mm -hmm. button here. And now I have my angle viewer set up the way I want it. Ah, oh, that's okay. really, really nice. So it now makes... I can just use one, one two, two, three, four, four and five. five. So hmm. instead of going up there to click every time, check this out. Um, if I'm on a clip, let me, I'm going to hit command plus so we can just see more of each frame. Let's say I want this to be a different angle. I don't want to hit like the number um, one because it'll do a cut, cut right? right? So, option but what one? I can do is option one. Ah. Okay, and just based uh, that's already on that angle. Option three, there it'll switch to that, or it'll. it'll so, in other words, that. it it maintains the same interface conventions whether you're clicking in the angle viewer yes, yes. or whether you're down in the actual angle editor. The and conventions are the same, which makes it kind And of the nice. reason this is so much faster is number one, you don't need to move the playhead. You can just skim. So I'm not clicking on anything. I'm skimming to a shot and, then and I'm option hitting option two, one. for instance, or option one. Uh, and an option four, I can go to each of those That's different angles. Way faster. By skimming. That's way right? better. The only thing I might consider is remapping the keyboard so I don't have to hold the option key down. Because option, I don't want to do a cut, and I'd rather just hit one, two, three, four at this point. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but if you if you did that, then when you're actually doing a cut, I might screw me up. Yeah. You kind of want to, yeah. you want one or the other. Okay. Yeah, but you could switch back and forth. But to be able to just skim 
and switch angles but is tapping you know option two it's to me is oh, fantastic it's, it's huge it's really now great. here's one other really good tip let's say there's several angles that you want to change to the same angle at once so i'm going to zoom back out here i'm going to say i want i'm going to click just regular click on that uh -huh. angle, and then I'm going to click on this one. Are you command and clicking? I'm, I'm command clicking to make a okay. non non contiguous. Non -contiguous yeah. I want all of those angles to be, say, our main angle. Okay. Um, actually, before I do that, I'm sorry. Let me back up. Another option, although it's slower, is uh, you can right click on an angle, and sorry, it's you can't quite see the whole drop down menu here. Do 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 do. do. Let's get get it on here. There. So if you right click on it, active video angle, oh, I see. you can select that's from this pop-up. I would never, menu. that's, that's it's too slow. It's slow, slow right? You never slow, do that, right? Yeah. So, but like, hey, but wait, if I have multiple, so I'm going to select multiple non contiguous clips, and now I'm going to right click. I want to switch all these at the uh, same time. The pop up menu would be handy. Oh, but look. Wait, you not can't, available. You can't select them. You can't do it. You can't do it. But uh, here's the really cool well, thing about this. Yeah. So they're all three are selected. Uh -huh. If I go to the inspector, mm -hmm. and the inspector says, I have nothing to look at, why is that? There you go. Select all three. I don't want to. Oh, it's, it, oh, it's uh, an audio hand. I just need yeah, to go back. There you go. Okay, so in the inspector, check this out. Active video angle, active audio angle. Is that a pop up? Yep. <gasps> Look at and that. It's a pop up. Right now it's got mixed values because we have all those selected, but I want to change them all to main, and then all three of those angles have switched to the main angle. That's huge. Is that awesome? It's, it's really great. So you can select multiple clips and switch them. Okay, so just one more thing here is usually. You might want to go through and do that, but the other thing that happens is when you're live cutting or live cut and switching, yeah. you're often for me, I'm late. Like, oh, I yeah, wanted I to didn't go have that. my coffee that morning. <clears throat> yeah, right. or she started singing and I wanted to cut to her a little uh. bit earlier, and that's really easy to fix because these you are all roll the edits. you can by default. And notice this by default, this is a roll tool, and you cannot ripple because you would break Blur the continuity. Sync, yeah. So you can drag this, or what I prefer to do with the edit selected, just move to where you really want it. You know, you can look at the waveform or based on when she starts singing. Um, you can just hit uh, Shift X. Shift and X will will move the playhead to wherever. And you could probably use the uh, the uh, bracket key, the comma period keys, to nudge it right or left too. Yes, yes. Okay. So you can do that very easily. You can even double click on. A, uh, an edit point and open up the precision, precision editor. editor. And then from there, you can actually see what kind of handle that you have um, available, which you know the handle, so it's kind of silly here, sure. but if there's a visual cue, you can really see that visual cue and then just click in order to, to jump the edit that point looks, at that that's point. Great. So the whole precision editor is available in here. And just the last thing I'll mention about these is if you want to edit the audio and video separately, which in our case we don't, right? right. We have one audio track, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna select both of these. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose expand audio video. Okay. And what that'll do, let's zoom in a little closer here, is allow me uh, separate access to my audio tracks. So what I can do is uh, I can actually, oh, I can basically do an, a J okay. cut or an L cut there by having the audio from the other angle come in sooner or later. Uh -huh. or I could undo that and have this audio coming over there. So I can, I could literally switch the audio. Let's say I wanted the audio from one to be, uh, you know, in the other. I now, could, now remember like you that. had a, you had a bass track select before. Remember you had the, the the production. So that's the audio from that particular camera. Is that what you're yes. saying? Yes. Yeah. This is one particular angle. But the cool thing is, if if you had frequently, these will be separate audio right. angles, and it's very easy to sort of J and L cut between them. Uh, if you wanted to do that sure. just by expanding them. Let me undo those. And actually, let's I'll leave them like that, and then I can select both these again. And you can actually just double double click should bring them back together. Uh, collapse audio video. Wait a minute. Normally, if you double click, it's like you have to be on the waveform way itself. Oh, there thank you. To get him yeah. the I have a good final cut tutorial that, no, that goes over <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. I, should, I should look at that again. <laughs> it's been too long. Yes. So, um, those are a couple things you can do. Basically, you've got all your normal trimming tools that you're used to doing right, right in the multicam clip. And in combination with using keyboard shortcuts and skimming, it's just fast, right. fast. You don't fast. have to have that. See, the great thing is you don't have the pressure of getting it right. The, the first, first time, you can right. go back and just uh, clean it up, and you can clean it, it up fast. Yeah. Excellent. So Mark has an excellent tra training at Ripple Training called um, Multi Camera Editing in Final Cut Pro 10. Right. Really good. Comes with media. Comes in the ebook. I suggest you check it out. And uh, it's, well, I think it's the best one out there. But I'm, you know, biased. So anyway, uh, Mark, thanks for showing this awesome stuff, and uh, we thank you for watching MacBreak Studio, and we'll see you next time.